Parashat Kitava, we're nearly at the end of this year's Torah cycle. It's quite amazing. We encounter again the mitzvah of Bikurim, which reminds us that the Reshit, the very first fruits that we produce, take them to Hashem, take them to the Bet HaMikdash, give your thanks. And ironically, we read this mitzvah of Reshit, the very first, on the cusp of the new year. We're at the end of this year, almost at Rosh Hashanah. And in the same way that the reshit of our produce has to be given to Hashem, dedicated and thanked and acknowledged the real provider of our prosperity, of our fruits and the things we grow on the land, so too, the beginning of the year, we have to devote ourselves to Hashem. And here we hear so, learn something a little bit different this week. Most of us intuitively, maybe somewhere in our education, somewhere along the lines, think that Rosh Hashanah is all about ourselves. People get very anxious. People elongate their prayers to introduce personal prayers. But the mystics, the Zohar HaKadosh, the Holy Zohar, says that people who daven on Rosh Hashanah like that are like dogs. Have, 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 give, 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 like the barking crazy dogs that demand something. And in fact, what we're meant to try and do, like the Mitzvah of Bikurim teaches us at the very beginning of this week's parasha, is to devote the beginning to Hashem. So what does the world look like? We ask that the world should be a world where every creature, everyone knows who created them, so Hashem. Anyone that's living, that's breathing, should be able to say, Hashem, okay, Yisrael, Melech, like God, the, the, like Hashem, the God of the Jewish people, is our king. What's the difference? What, what would the world be like if that was recognized universally and people recognized the oneness of Hashem? So the world could be one of two different models. It could be an anthropomorphic world, a world in which people are in the center. And then in that type of world, the people, the, the strongest, the prettiest, the most the wealthy, they somehow grab the center space. And what happens? They get all the power. And somehow if you manage to, to somehow link arms with the wealthy and the powerful, you by, by association are doing well. But if you don't, you're thrown to one side. Certain people matter and others are very much dispensed with in the worst case scenario. But in a theocentric model, when God's in the center, but God to be in the center means that everyone therefore derives their significance from God. And the idea that we knew from the beginning of the Torah, in the creation of Adam and Chava, we know that we're made but Salam Elohim in the image of Hashem. And when we learn to love each other and see each other in the image of Hashem, then everyone's equal. Because we're not working out scales of, of significance based on any external factors, or perhaps it's an ancestry of some sort, whether you're Ancestors were holy, or wealthy, powerful people, and you're different. No, Salam and Kim, everyone's important. So in the theocentric world, with God's middle, everyone derives benefit and they're significant. And the world is a world of harmony. So as we look towards Rosh Hashanah, of course, it's a day of judgment, and we're thinking about ourselves. But let's move ourselves out of that focus, step back a little bit, like the mitzvah of Bikurim. Take yourself out. The farmer stands there with his bukrum in the temple, talks about the Nebuch journey of the Jewish people. We were, we were wanderers and then we were slaves and then we were abused and eventually God took us out and brought us to this land. Look what we've produced and thank you, God, for what you've given me. The farmer is able to express that. Let us hope to be like the farmer who brought the bukrum and recognized the reshit at the very beginning goes to Hashem. And the Zerat Hashem, our tefillot and Rosh Hashanah will be that the world should recognize God, that we should recognize God, that we should know what it is to live in a world where everyone recognizes Hashem and derives their significance and their beauty from that reality. Because Rabbi Hashem, we will achieve that in the year ahead. Shabbat Shalom.